Hi, in this particular video, this is uh, one of the final videos within the series on recurring decimals. Uh, we've been asked to express 5.2371 recurring as a fraction. Okay, so it seems a little bit odd because the numbers themselves are quite difficult, but the important thing with this is we're just simply being asked to express it as a fraction. So we don't actually need to do too many really overly complicated um, calculations. So in this one, what I'm going to do is follow exactly the same format that I have done with all the other videos within the playlist. And that is I'm going to multiply this through in order to get rid of the recurring side of the decimal. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say let n equal 5.2371371371 and so on. Now if we multiply that through by a thousand, what I end up with is a thousand n equals, and I'm going to move the decimal point three places. So the numbers themselves are a little bit hard on this particular type of question. But again, please do have a look at the question itself is just asking for a fraction. So if I move the decimal point three places, I end up with 523 of oh, sorry, 5237 point one three seven one three seven one and so on. Which means then if I take away the value of n, I end up with um, this kind of question or this kind of solution. So it allows me then to take away the recurring element here. So I've got a thousand n minus n is going to give me 999 n and that equals 5237.1 take away 5.2. Okay, so I'm just going to perform that calculation exactly the same as this, like you would do with any other calculation, and that gives me 0 0.9 there, 1 there, and 523 here. So I'm in a position now where I can use this information to create the fraction. So if I divide through by 999, it means I get this value of n here, and this side will become 5231.9 divided by 999. Now, strictly speaking, that's not a fraction because it involves this decimal point. So all I'm going to do is move the decimal point one place over, and that means the top number becomes 5231319. Uh, and the bottom number, I'm going to move it one place over. I have to put a zero in as a placeholder, and that becomes 9990. And actually, that's the answer to this particular question. So you don't need to go any further than that. You don't need to start reducing this through to make a mixed number. What I would do is a very quick check. I can see it the bottom this is definitely divisible by 3 however with the top it's not divisible by 2 because it's an odd number it's not divisible by 3 because if I add up the digits they're not a multiple of 3 and if you have a look at some of the other videos that will show you how that works and also it's not divisible by 5 or pretty much any other number I can think of so therefore I'm just going to leave it at that and that would be the answer to this particular question um, I hope that's been helpful to you please do add a comment below in the uh, comments and I'll always come back to you. Have a look at some of the other videos from the playlist, subscribe to the channel and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.